Well, the extreme heat from the Labor Day weekend proved to be deadly in San Francisco. Tonight, medical examiners say the record-breaking temperatures contributed to three deaths, all of them born in the 1920s and 30s, and they all died in their homes. From heat waves to back-to-back -back hurricanes, one San Jose State professor says, get used to it. It may become our new normal. Tonight, she told KPX 5's Marie Medina, it is all connected to climate change. Back-to-back -back hurricanes Irma, Jose, Katia, and Harvey, which devastated parts of Texas. It's got to be a 500-year flood or a 1,000-year flood. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Are all signs of what San Jose State meteorology professors like Allison Bridger. There is the hurricane. You can see the eye really well. Have taught students for years. The oceans are warming up just as the atmosphere is warming up. She says recent weather events across our country are proof of global warming. And now she says it's catching up to us. We've been teaching about this stuff for over 20 years and we're still not doing anything about it. Another piece of evidence that climate change is happening, according to Professor Bridger, our own record breaking heat wave over the weekend. So hot it even caused equipment problems and delays for BART. It's not like we broke the record by a teeny bit. We broke the record by a lot. So the question is, is this the new norm? I would tend to think so. So what exactly does that mean? The professor says climate change means more and longer heat waves or cold weather, droughts, and even extreme rain events like hurricanes. Harvey was probably able to grow strong because of the super warm temperatures in the ocean in the Gulf of Mexico. And that might be indicative of climate change. Whatever changes are going on, they're happening faster than we were ready for. While the professor says we shouldn't panic, she says she is concerned about how global warming will impact future generations. At SJSU, Maria Medina, KPIX 5.